really lucky to have this park close to us because we've got the amazing play area. We've got a pool where there's some ducks and there's a little path where my daughter can cycle as well and play poo sticks by the stream. We wouldn't have that experience in our own back garden. to the park because I find it's a really good way to work out. I don't have a gym membership because why would I want to when this park is here for free? The thing I enjoy so much about being in an open space like this is the chance to interact with nature. It's ever-changing. No two days are the same. This local park does keep the kids off the street and keeps them out of trouble. Everybody's always nice and friendly to each other in the park. Everybody's always in a good mood when they're here. People will say morning to you and you don't get that walking down a high street. I'm really shocked by the state of this park. It used to be a vibrant part of the community and now it's it just looks like a ghost town almost. This park is really pretty run down. Everything is very broken. Uh, there's graffiti on every surface. Um, the grass is long and uncut and full of rubbish and junk and broken bottles. Um, it's not, not a nice place to, to bring your kids. Parks really help hold a community together in a neighborhood and without them, it really will be a horrible place to live. cuts to the funding of parks, then I think it's essential that uh, the local community and local businesses rally together to do their bit to try and preserve them. After all the investment that we've had over the last few years, we don't want that to go to waste. threatening to cut budgets for the park, you're threatening our future generations and the health and well-being of those future generations and I don't think that's something we can afford to do. Parks aren't just an add-on, they're an absolute necessity. People need parks, not only for the physical aspect but also for the soul. Keep it open, keep it going because it does bring all the community together.